Ricky Gervais, the man which made unfathomable jokes at the expense of the Hollywood elite. He went out there on the podium as he was presenting the Oscars, pointed out that all of the people there knew Harvey Weinstein. He then said that they're going to go upstage and have their hypocritical little speeches that they don't believe in and that if ISIS would have a streaming service, those people would contact their agents. And after he said that, you see all the actors going on the stage and going, I care about the environment. I care about the minorities. I care about blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, the homeless people were being escorted away from even a hundred miles of the event because important people were having the Oscars, right? We can't, we can't have the unwashed masses next to that. It was brilliant. So I like uh, Ricky. Now, he said something very interesting. He said that he wants to be alive long enough to see the current woke generation getting out wokeified by the next. So no matter how progressive you are, there's always going to be a person more progressive than you. And eventually there's going to be one opinion, just one, that is way too extreme for you. And because you disagree on that issue, you're going to be canceled. Exactly what happened to J.K. Rowling. I mean, she's progressive on every single issue. It's just one opinion that she disagrees with the progressive crowd. So she gets canceled. Now, I would like to tell uh, Ricky that this is already happening. Believe it or not, you already had the previous generation of woke getting canceled by the next. What am I talking about? Well, do you guys remember feminism? When's the last time you heard about misogyny? It used to be a time where if you even disagreed on any issue with a person that happens to be a woman, you are a misogynist. You are a sexist. Because that's the only reason you disagree. When's the last time you heard about the patriarchy? Or the last time you heard about rape culture? Like, that's gone. It didn't go out with a bang. It went out with a whimper. And why did it disappear, right? Because those are the first people which cemented censorship on the internet. Before those people, you didn't have censorship on the internet at all. They're the ones that cemented the concept of terms of service on Twitter, of terms of service on Patreon. Initially, if you guys remember, the terms of service on Twitter was to keep women safe, was reclaim the internet, the online bullying. When's the last time you heard about online bullying? It's gone, isn't it? No one talks about it. So you have like the first generations of censors, if you will, the, the first generations of woke. The ones that were concerned about what images are depicted on the cover of comics and what messages are being told in video games and whatnot. They got canceled. They got canceled by the next generation of progressives. You see, the first generation were feminists and they cared about women's rights. But now, what is a woman? Like They can't really make a definition for it because if you say adult human female, that's transphobic. You get the J.K. Rowling t treatment. They literally cannot define what a woman is. Unironically, like they, they cannot have the definition of it. So these are like the next generation of woke. And uh, if you look at it, even the next generation of woke got canceled. So if you're aware, for example, what happened in the transgender community, you have the classical transgenders, if you will, like the person that's a man and wants to become a woman to transition. And they do the effort, they put the makeup, and they genuinely try. But now, those people, instead of being called TERFs, they're called true scum. Because you don't really need to try and, and behave in a certain way, right? Because th there is no definition for a woman. So you, you now have, like, even people who aren't necessarily trans, but they can be non-binary, or, you know, it, it can literally be like something like a... Whatever. As, as long as the person just doesn't believe they're the same gender at birth, like they qualify and they should get all the perks and bonuses of being trans. And the people who disagree with them, they're getting canceled. So it's it's a constant just cancel culture over cancel culture. It's very fascinating if you think about it. I remember there was um, on the Jimmy Dore show, there was this leftist who was like for canceling and it was really high on it. And then he ends up, like, literally the next day, his Facebook group got shot down by Zuckerberg. Very difficult position to be in, right? <laughs> I really hate the term cancel culture 
Because uh, cancel means, you know, canceling your Netflix account or using the remote to, to just, you know, cancel your Amazon subscription. It's something harmless and voluntary, isn't it? What you're seeing is persecution. That's what it is. Like, you're persecuting people like Dave Chappelle for his ideas. And it's the people in power that get to do this, masquerading as if they're the minority. Like, you're in the power to gatekeep. You're literally within Netflix. Now, you, you can say you're doing this to protect the community or whatever, but don't say you're doing it to protect marginalized folks. You're not marginalized if you're working for Netflix. How many homeless people work at Netflix? When you think of marginalized, think of a homeless person. And if it's not a homeless person, if it's not even in that same category, that person isn't marginalized. A man with leper is marginalized. A homeless person is marginalized. These people who are in academia, who work at Netflix, who happen to be on the Twitter Trusted Service Council, who are in diversity officers and all of these things are not marginalized. They're the power. They're the status quo. These are the people wielding all the power in society. These are the gatekeepers. These are that get to decide, the moral busybodies that get to decide what the millions of masses get to consume and whatnot. So they're not marginalized. Let's, let's be honest. If these are the marginalized people. I want to be marginalized. I, I want to be with them. I want to be next to them because it seems that they're enjoying a lot more power than your average Joe. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.